here to do a teach-in in Congresswoman Chantel Brown's office, um, or as we call her, the APAC Princess. Um, she, in her first election, it was a special election in Ohio, went up against uh, progressive Nina Turner, who was at the time backed by a lot of the establishment so and a lot of celebrities. We don't allow recording in this uh, and uh, record on she that have you received, outside she was, she was losing the race for uh, a while, um, and Nina um, Turner was overwhelmingly winning. And near the end of the race, um, APAC and other pro-Israel lobby groups came in with, with over $2 million in ads in order to um, shift the election in her favor. They targeted Nina Turner in those ads, slandered her, and then um, Chantel Brown ended up winning the election. It was one of the biggest upsets to get out an incumbent who's usually stood for progressive values. And then Chantel Brown was put in out of nowhere. In 2022, they continued to fund her campaign, spending close to $300,000 specifically on ads just against Nina Turner. So that kind of speaks to, it's not just about the funding of APAC going directly into people's campaigns, mm -hmm. it's what APAC will do to the candidates going up against you, uh, suppressing them. And in between that time, uh, Chantel Brown was also taken to Israel by um, the APAC lobbying group. Um, and on that tour, they took her around Jerusalem, but specifically they took her outside of the Gaza Strip and what really struck us is in August she was in an interview with APAC kind of promoting how you can be quote progressive and pro-Israel continuing to say that Israel is actually one of the most progressive countries that there are, which is we know a lie given that they're an apartheid state that occupies land that is not their own. And she described what standing outside of Gaza as being a vulnerable place where she remembers mm -hmm. that they were facing terrorism from all sides. Mm -hmm. So what she is suggesting in that narrative is standing by the gates that block people into Gaza, that she saw a bomb shelter, which exists because of quote, you know, Hamas rockets that fly <laughs> into Israel and are a threat of terrorism, which is a total skew of the narrative and ignores the fact that which place is being bombed as we speak every single day? It is Gaza. Mm -hmm. She was going to lose her election against Nina Turner because Nina Turner had overwhelming support from most of the party. pro israel lobby groups on behalf of Israel came in, spent over $2 million in ads, and won the election. Yeah. Foreign interference, that's what we call it. Absolutely. As someone who lives in Northeast Ohio, that's where I live currently. It's really concerning that Congressman Brown is continuing to send funding to Israel when her own district is faced with such severe pockets of poverty. It's like nothing has progressed since the 1980s in her own district, yet she continues to send money to other countries who are committing genocide. So mm -hmm. I say to Congressman Brown, Support Ohio, support District 11, and stop funding genocide.